right, uh, Libra, what do we have for you, uh, Libra people and Libra? Libra. Uh, Libra, you have the Ace of Wands here and the Three of Wands. So I feel like there's like a passionate new beginning coming in for you here, Libra. The Ace of Wands says there's just a new beginning coming in for you. And there's, I feel like you are feeling pulled towards this. Three of Wands is like a card of uh, foresight, seeing something coming in in the future. So I feel like a lot of you kind of are seeing the future with these two cards, or you're being very drawn to something in the future with these two cards as well. And I feel like you need to like move towards whatever that is for you here, Libra. The, to me, the Three of Wands is a card of like growth and expansion as well. So I feel like a lot of you could be whatever creative projects you're working on or whatever projects you're working on in general, I feel like could lead to like a lot of growth and expansion with these two cards. So I definitely like to see that for you, Libra. I also feel like some of you could be looking for changes in the future. It's like maybe you're not wanting to, maybe you're thinking about moving, but it's like maybe you're not going to move right now, but maybe you are going to be planning on moving in the future with these two cards. Three of Wands, I feel like it's saying like kind of like weigh your options, look, look, see what's out there, and then kind of like move on from there. Uh, next, you have the Eight of Swords here and the Emperor. I feel like this could be a fire sign in general coming in for you. It could be an Aries, but I feel like it could be any fire sign. You've had fire show up quite a bit, Libra, in your readings for love. So I feel like it could be a fire sign coming in for you with the Emperor. For others, I feel like this is saying like a plan will set you free. I've been saying this all year, right? That with all the energy in Capricorn, it's like if we owe money uh, to like for debts or something like that, we, we would be better off just that saying, you know what, I'm going to pay like $10 a week towards this debt, even if it's way less than we need to pay. Because if we just have a plan, we get rewarded from Saturn and Capricorn. It doesn't matter how small, how big the plan is, as long as we stick to the plan. So I feel like a lot of you just need to stick to a plan with these two cards, and I feel like that will lead to the most success uh, for you. For, for a very small percentage of you, I feel like you are kind of like setting yourself free with that Eight of Swords. I would say definitely time to let go of past relationships, Libra. Yeah, exactly. You have the Devil and Death. So definitely time to let go of past relationships here with the Devil. The Death card says you're going through like some sort of transformation at this time. But I feel like you're just letting go of toxic energies, toxic people, uh, toxic events, pretty much everything with these two cards. For others, I do feel like this could be a Capricorn coming in for some of you as well. So uh, for some of you, I feel like there could be a Capricorn coming in with this card. But mostly I feel like this is just you transforming, you leaving like toxic energies and toxic things in the past with these two cards. So uh, Libra, I love it. That looks really good. So thank you, Libra. Uh, all right, Scorpio.